All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope that the voice is coming good, and uh, I uh, uh, I think the issue with one speaker, one side working, the other one not working, is fixed now. So when we play an audio from the computer, you will hear it better. Uh, you know, today our our uh, topic is about Valentine Day. You know, there is you know me myself actually. You know, when I was a child, I mean, when I say a child, I mean a teenage. Because a teenage is a child. But childhood, not necessarily is your teenage. It can be even when you are 30, 40, 50, even 60 and 70. And actually some people, when they get older, they get to be like children more than when they used to be children. Because there is something missing in their life. We as Middle Eastern, actually we don't have a childhood. Our childhood is very horrible. There's no childhood in the childhood. This is why you see the Middle Eastern, they are too much. Um, they have different life when they grow older. They act like kids because they did not receive uh, a healthy childhood. You know, you grow up in the Middle East, everything is wrong. Doesn't matter what you do, even if it's something a kid should do, it's wrong. Uh, everybody is monitoring everybody. Everybody is watching everybody. Everybody is controlling everybody. Terrorism starts inside the house and in the street and everywhere. Even school is where you get beating from the teacher. And that will have an impact in a human being when he grow. Now, each one of you is coming from different place. I was just telling you about how it is in the Middle East. And the reason I'm sharing this, because Many of us do not understand even what we are doing and why we are doing what we are doing. As an example, tomorrow is Valentine Day and what people do on Valentine Day. Uh, I mean, everybody should have a Valentine, isn't it true? Mm. And everybody should have um, uh, a woman. And every woman should have a guy. And what kind of man and what kind of women we are talking about? You know, sadly, Valentine Day, it's not the Valentine Day, which is, should be, or should be, exist to be. Uh, today, Valentine Day, most of people, and this is a, a practice uh, happening around the world by all kinds of religion, they celebrate such a day, but nobody knows even what this day is about. Except, many of them, they understand this day in a very wrong way, and they think it's a day about dating and sleeping around. So, you know, I was driving my car and then I saw a commercial of a panty. It's called Nude Pajama. I mean, the commercial was so boring. I was listening to uh, Radio Protex and then suddenly in the middle of the uh, program, they put this Nude Pajama and man, it goes like four or three minutes. And I switched the radio, I come back, still they are talking about the nude pajama. So the nude pajama, my friend, is the day, is the pajama will make your day a Valentine day. Sound like Muhammad for me. Sound like Allah for me. Sound like a pimp style. So what Valentine have to do with all this garbage? Nothing. This person is a great man who sacrificed his life to defend the right of marriage. A Roman emperor because he noticed that his soldiers are not into war, he come to a conclusion, well, because they are attached to their wives. So he forbid men from getting married or engaged. A person, his name is Valentine, and he is a priest. He stood against the king, defending the right of every human being to have a family and a true relationship between man and woman. The king, he captured this man, and he did order him to be beaten until he die, and then he cut his head. So look what we celebrate. The man, he paid his life to defend something beautiful. People today, they spend their money to buy panties. Do you see how corruption changed everything? The man he died, he lost his head. 
standing against a king. Crazy king. Sadly today, many, they think that this is a day where they can go and sleep around and, you know, and the second day you will tell your friends about what happened yesterday in your bedroom. This is exactly Islamic teaching. So Valentine's Day have nothing to do with this, otherwise that will turn into be Islamic religion, as if we are following Muhammad. Muhammad, he promised men, uh, you know, panties and women have no panties and uh, sees through and all this madness. So I wanted to share this with you today because many of you maybe tomorrow is going to do what he used to do last year. Thinking that Valentine's Day is a day where you express your love to your spouse, right? In fact, this is not even right. Because expressing your love to your wife is something should happen every day, not in Valentine's Day. And if you remember to buy a flower to your wife in the Valentine's Day, I mean, how, how what kind of an idiot you are, that's mean the whole year you did not buy her a flower. Or you did not remember her. Or she did not remember you. Love does not have a time or a date. We should not have day for love. One of the greatest examples of teaching about what love is, I find it in 1 Corinthians, where we hear the following, and I'm going to play the audio for you so you might listen carefully and understand what we are trying to explain first corinthians 13 though i speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, whether there be tongues, they shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. Charity here is the word love. The greatest of these is a charity. And you will notice here that all of those things, they are consistent and they are connected, which means if one of them is missing, you know, love would be broken. They are connected and sacrificing is what is love. Not buying some flowers or buying piece of a clothing. I mean, those things, we need them, absolutely. We need food, 
we need clothing we need uh, we have we have needs but the most amazing needs which nobody can give it to you no money can buy it is love which is here is coming in the bible in this translation as a charity and you will notice here when i was a child i spoke as a child i understood as a child i thought as a child but when i became a man i put away childish things in fact today those men who they are growing and they have a beard they are just children's rarely you will find a mature person who is not a child anymore and if you don't believe me let us see what you will do tomorrow how many people today they are shopping for underwear I mean how child we are or let us say how immature we are to the point we make love about giving a gift as a panty I mean actually this is insulting this is insulting and disgusting you evaluate a human being supposedly you want to tell her that you love her by giving her a panty how disgusting so you did not see in her except a panty and this is the day you decided to buy a panty for her <laughs> so it sounds like Muhammad who is trying his best to beautify evil under the name of love always when people they grow they grow in two direction foolishness and wisdom which mean part of you wanted to be a fool other part he want to be wise and usually the foolish part would win because foolish part it's me like I mean it's easy there's no responsibility party fun nightclub drugs drinking smoking I mean that's easy right there's nothing I mean there's no pressure there it just it just a foolish you foolish you make you feel comfortable you don't even feel guilty anymore foolish you make you hurt others and you think still there's nothing wrong happen the foolish you think that he's the only one is exist and nobody else around the rest are exist to serve you so the foolish human being every day he practice his foolishness and tomorrow is a great example of how many people they will practice something foolish sadly you know like we have a new year evening right new year evening it should be a day we celebrate a new year of the Lord not a new year of going to the bars and sleeping around and take the drugs and maybe get shot so what I'm trying to say that those days are a great days they should be a religious faithful days not a days of a wrong practice I hope that we as a Christians tomorrow we will not celebrate any pagan practice because this is paganism Valentine Day is a great day so Valentine is not a pagan he's a Christian man he's a wonderful man so the day nothing wrong with it but the practice people today they practice is a pagan practice because simply it's not about love and funny they call sleeping around love not only that when a man he sleep with the women uh, he call it making love okay you love her so why you don't marry her hmm? you are willing to make love to her but you are not willing to make family
the purpose of uh, men and women is not just two people holding hands and walking in the beach. God, he gave us joy in such a relationship in order to create a family. Otherwise, the purpose was not sexual relationship. It's not even about romance and walking in the sunset. It's about you. You lost your eternity when you've been kicked out from heaven. So God, he decided to give you an opportunity to continue by having your own seeds who they continue alive after your death. Many of us think about things as if they are or he is doing shopping in the shelf. He is going to the supermarket and he, th he sees things in the shelf and he want to grab them. So many men, they, s they look at women as something in the shelf and they want to grab that woman. And the best of them is the one who try to grab as many as he can, the same exactly as the Islamic disgusting heaven where women she became just a sexual object and the man he became a sexual maniac who is obsessed and he don't see in the women anything except sex love may be involved which is natural sexual uh, joy but love is way bigger than this. You will see how many uh, you know stories in this earth about people who, uh, like the husband, he lost his ability even to walk, not only to have sexual relationship, but the woman she became faithful for him because she loved him. Or the opposite. Love is bigger than just uh, one day and a date and uh, you know some flowers or buying some clothing everyone he see the world in the way he think it's right for him and nobody can force you to think in a way which is not the way you want but always there is a consequence for things we do if a person who don't love and i mean he want women and he changed women as he changed shoes sorry to say so this person he will never ever find love same for a woman after being with many many men she will not be able to recognize which one of them is the one because she have too much experience to the point she lost her sensation it's like a person who keep touching fire and his skin is burning and it burn and then he touch it again it burn he touch it again and by time that piece of his skin in that location will lose the sensation so he feel nothing in india people they eat spicy food and the first thing you ask yourself how somebody he eat it not only he added to the food he don't go crazy by putting the spicy food in his mouth simply because his mouth is used to spicy food so spicy food kill the sensation in your tongue and the more you eat of it the more you feel less of taste so what do you do you increase the dose of spice and you keep increasing and increasing and increasing until you lose your sensation of the spice. And this has happened exactly when people they abuse what God he gave them as a gift. They keep moving from a woman to a woman to a woman and then they will lose sensation of anything. So he tried to increase the dose 
and he want more because he is not feeling the sensation anymore. Having a woman doesn't mean anything anymore. Having a man, it means nothing anymore. Because you can grab a man in the bar. And he can grab a woman in the bar. Not long time ago, when a man, uh, he uh, see a woman, she look at him in a nice way. He gets so excited and so happy and he did not know what to say. <laughs> These days, uh, I'm not going to describe what's happening. So I want to just to share with you that tomorrow should not be just another day of a previous days we did in our life. Valentine Day have nothing to do with what people do these days. It's not a commercial day where you spend your money. You cannot buy love by money. It's not a day you express your love to a woman by buying her a panty. That is a shameful act. Proving to her, if she have a brain, that you are a filthy person. Because you could not see in her anything except a panty. And the panty you are buying for her, not because you love her actually, but because you want her to wear it, so you enjoy it. So even that is about selfishness. It was not a gift for her, it's a gift for you. Many things human being he do is kind of awkward. And one of the most awkward stuff we do that we insult God in the name of love. All of us we commit sin and I am no better than any one of you. But always we have to have our sensation and we have to be mature and we have to do our best to be in the correct direction. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay long talking about this topic. I uh, just wanted to share this with you to be sure that we, as a Christian, we remember that love is not what people they do these days. This is have nothing to do with love. You will see a woman, her husband, he died two days ago and two days after she is dating. How shameful. There's birds, when the spouse die, the bird, he die. It's a bird. More loyal. Animals, they have more loyalty. You will see a guy who die and his dog, he die over his grave. He will not leave. He will not eat. That's it. He will not leave his master. And he is a dog. There's many things we need to learn from animals. Even though we think that they are stupid animals. But in fact, animals, they can be way better than, and be way quality better than us. Who is my valentine? I don't need such a valentine thing. This is the last thing I will even think about. Empty-headed people, they spend their day thinking about who is his valentine. When your head is empty, and the only thing you think is about yourself, and about what you get, because who is my valentine? My, as if I own that person, my. <laughs> I mean, that is weird. We have to be smarter, and we have to be mature. Are you trying to say that people cannot be loyal? Yeah, this is the intelligence. All what I said 
the lady there she got it as I am saying we should not be loyal this is what she understood all right you better go take a nap no comment Isn't it amazing after explaining for the last 30 minutes, somebody saying, are you saying we should not be loyal? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, God is good. And God, he gave us a brain. And we should use it. Otherwise, you know, we will be the same as the rest. You should be smart. You should be intelligent. You should be faithful. You should be strong. And you should be a person who don't just follow things without knowing what they are. If you love a person, there is no need for Valentine Day. Every day is your Valentine Day. Imagine a mother, we say to her, there is a child day. And in that day only, she love her child. That would be the most silly thing, isn't it? One of the greatest love is a mother loving her child. Human being cannot really reach to be noble and understand love until a human being can understand the love of a mother. That is the best and the greatest love ever. And sadly, well, what do you know, even what does that mean? A woman, if she love a man, she cannot really measure that love if it is real because it is not even something you can lose the same as loving a child which is yours you know you see a mother she suffer from a child she have is bad is rude is stupid is crazy he's lazy he take drugs still she love him that is real love. So women and men, if they cannot reach the love which a mother she have to her child, that's mean what they have between them is just a relationship, not love. It just let us say a partnership. This is why you see these days people they get divorced so easy. Because there's no love. It never was exist, actually. They meet. They like each other. She look nice. He look whatever. He have something she want. She have something he want. And because of what they want, they got what they want. But they will never get love. But mother, she don't want anything from her child. There's no expectation because her love is real and if we cannot learn from the mother how she love and this is goes for men and women then we will never really understand what love means because love is not about you do things because you need well, those are something natural you need things a man, he need a woman. A woman, she need a man. But that doesn't mean that you're in love. That is need. Uh, actually, before I come back home today, uh, today I have to leave the house because there is too much noise. Uh, there is some repair is being done. And I decided to go fishing. 
And I met a guy, you know, he, like we are talking about fish, and suddenly, you know, suddenly he said to me, Oh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. What do you want? Uh, you know, uh, you know, nice meeting you, etc. He said, Do you like to join us tomorrow? We have party. We have a lot of girls, man. <laughs> I said, A lot of what? <laughs> and you know, like, you should, you should see his face. I mean, it is really weird. And the man, he looked nice, sound, I mean, he didn't look really like a bad person. And I don't think he's a bad person. But this is how he learned. That this is a day where people, they do crazy stuff, right? So he was inviting me to go for a party. And he promised me that it's going to be a lot of girls there. I said, no, thank you. He said, okay, well... Uh, he he noticed that's uh, you know I I did not uh, not only I did not give attention I changed a little bit my attitude with him and then he said uh, you know by the way I am not really uh, I don't really like this kind of parties but I mean what I would do home I mean you know there's nothing life is boring anyway. Uh, the first moment I spoke to this person, I found that he is really a nice person. Very friendly. He doesn't sound like a bad person at all. And I don't think he's a bad person. But he is just a victim of what people they practice these days and they follow blindly. He is a single guy. And he learned that life is about going around, dating, sleeping around, uh, drinking, smoking, and that's it. I mean, what, is, what else he should do? This is what he learned. This is what is expected. Uh, so I don't blame him, but I blame the society the family who did not guide their children for what is right, what's wrong. Otherwise, I don't think the man is a, very, is a bad person. But this is what he learned. And it's very important that for us, we do some correction for our lifestyle from time to time. Yeah, and by the way, today I got many fish. I think I, I think I got fifteen fish. All right, that's a small one. The biggest one, one foot. Nothing big, really. But uh, you know, they are tasty ones. Fifteen fish, they will do. They will make a good, good, nice, uh, uh, nice more than a one dish actually. Yeah, but only one is big and the rest are small. You can say maybe like total is like maybe three kilograms, something like this, or maybe two and a half. No, no, a small fish. I, you know. Uh, anyway, this is not our topic now. <laughs> yeah, I did not get any any uh, any big one. Actually, not. All, I mean, I am. I'm. I was being lucky. The rest they are not getting nothing. Anything. Uh, so I was lucky because actually I was using this uh, fake uh, crab. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. There's a fake. Um, it's not. It's food. You know, you buy it, but they are trying to make it look like taste like a crab. It's like white and red. So I was using that bait, and it looked like this bait worked very good. But to bring only small fish. Anyway, you see, even the fishing is is about love too if you don't love fishing you will be bored you will lose patience and you will not be able to get anything if you love what you do you will be successful because you don't go and just to throw your uh, bait in the water and you get a fish after five minutes no you might stay for an hour maybe two hours maybe four hours maybe the whole day you get nothing 
And here how you learn patient. And love is about patient too. This is what the Bible says. Love is patient. Love is patient. You see, there's a person, if he loses his patience with you, that's mean he is not really in love with you. You notice when a, a man or a woman, they are, there is something special between them. If the man, he do stupid stuff, even if he insult her, she doesn't even get mad. Why? Because love is patient. She doesn't even notice it. But if that love is not there, the other person, whatever he do, you will be upset and you will fight with him. Because you are, you, you will be triggered with your anger. There's nothing to cool it down. Before your love is cooling your anger down from a person doing something wrong, when the love is gone, whatever he do, even if it is nothing, you will make a fight about it. So actually fishing is a very good training, practicing for love. Love to be patient, love to be wise, love to wait and not to rush to open your mouth and say stupid things and hurt others. Patient is important in everything we do. There's many people, they cannot keep their mouth shut, and the more they talk, the more they harm. Their mouth, like a hammer. Their tongue is like a sword. They hurt whatever they say. Why? Because they don't have patience to listen, to think, and then to talk. Actually, they do the opposite. They talk, and then they think, and then they find that they were idiot. Right? Patient is very important. Um, and by the way, as they say, talk is cheap. Many of you will say, you know, I am patient, etc. But you know, when life, re reality comes, it might be the opposite. You have to examine yourself and see really how truthful that is. You know, if you are married, let us see how much patient you are with your wife or husband, with your children. You know, uh, many people, they don't really... I mean, their tongue is, is, uh, is as if it's a separated identity of them. They, it's not part of them. They don't control their tongue. There are some people, they cannot even say two words together without saying the F word. Even if it's about not fighting. Even if they are saying, like, suppose they're speaking, uh, uh, they, they are having fun. Yet, they have to use the F word. And many of them, actually, they think, that by using such a language that make them, uh, as they say, cool, right? Christ said, I will make you fishers, fishermen. I mean to that. Well, we do our best. Uh, I hope that we, you know, today we did share something good together. I don't know if I should open my phone so you guys can call me about this topic, but maybe this topic is boring for many. You know what I mean? Because uh, people, they don't like uh, a talk like this. You know, people, they like a comedy show. Uh, somebody getting busted. Uh, you know, just say a boxing, everybody want to watch boxing, you know, two people are fighting, they want to watch that. Because inside us, there is uh, you know, like when a cat, she, ch she chase her tail. I mean, the cat, she will be very quiet until she sees something is moving. You stop moving that thing, the cat will stop. She's not excited no more. So many human beings, they 
their excitement only come for something considered as action not something considered as wisdom which one is more attractive for us all of us to watch a movie uh, you know let us say about a life of philosopher who spoke amazing wisdom or etc or to watch an action movie about uh, uh, what the spider-man <laughs> spider-man <laughs> time time did come and we are enjoying watching spider-man now we know the story is a is a is a foolish we know that everything is a fantasy we know that there's nothing truth there and yet we enjoy it more because nothing there is true <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, nobody enjoy really uh, the serious conversations. They open my Skype. I don't know. It's not. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe not tonight. Uh, <clears throat> You know there is uh, there is there, like always there is there is things you can tell you about yourself what you like. Some people they like to watch horror movie. You need to ask yourself a question. I mean, how in the world you are a human being, yet you enjoy seeing, even if it's false and you know not true, but there is something wrong inside. To enjoy horror movie, where women been raped, cutting pieces, cutting their tongue, their hands. I mean, how a human being, he enjoys such a thing. There is something wrong. And yet, the same human being want to celebrate Valentine. I mean, how, how this contradiction can work together? How a human being enjoy watching cutting hands, like Muhammad, and then... He want to express his love in Valentine's Day. I have no idea. How both they work together. No, I mean horror, horror. Did I say horror? So it's a horror. Uh, there is something wrong with the human being. You know, there is ov obviously there is something wrong. And actually, I warn people from watching those movies because those movies slowly, slowly will turn you into an evil creature. Especially if you have kids, be sure they will never watch such. So, you know, don't be surprised if you see a child one day cutting the hand of somebody else. This is what they do for ISIS. They try to teach them since early age to do beheading. So they turn up when they are meant to be beast. This is what those movies are trying to do out of you. So look what happened today in the movie, even though I, like it's not my topic, but because everything is connected to love. Human being, he killed his sensation by departing himself from his human nature. So instead, instead of growing the human nature inside you, you are growing the animal nature. The cat, the lion. You want to eat others. You want to cut them pieces. You want to shoot them. So those movies, they are evil and they grow inside you. Evil, yet you think they are just nothing. It's just a movie. Well, the movie is making you accept an idea, believing in them slowly. And by time, you might practice them. When, uh, when people, they go crazy for a movie, it's called John Wick. You know, like I remember people, they say to me, watch John Wick, John Wick. I said, who was John Wick? I mean, the name John is a good name. You know, I mean, John is a great name. But John Wick, who is John Wick? And I thought like this guy, he is going to save the people. He is a hero. The hero turned to be an assassin. He's a criminal. He's a filthy man. A guy who want to kill the whole town just because they killed his cat. I 
I mean, how in the world a human being, even our our uh, our praising for the value, became corrupt? They corrupt you in the movie in this story. They made you praise a filthy assassin, criminal. You see, the success of such a movie is proving to us how disgusting the world is. If we are, if we are living in a society which is really pure Christian society, which means everybody really is a true believer, if the whole world believe in Christ for real, and they practice for real, nobody will watch such a movie, and this movie will make zero dollar. But because this movie is exactly what Muhammad teach, and people, they love evil, they praise evil, so how you are going to know what love is if you love such a movie? You see, love and love and such a thing will not fit together. They don't match. They enjoy what is disgusting. Well, there is no difference between real thing and movie, because at the end of the day. You know, for you, you are watching something supposedly a real killing. Right? And that shooting and blood coming and etc. And, you know, and then uh, that will make you accept the idea of shooting people too. This is why you hear from time to time a kid, he go he take a gun to the school, he start shooting people. Or a guy, he go to church and he shoot people. Or a guy, go to the mosque, he shoot people. Or guy he go in at work because simply those movies they are preparing for you the way to be a criminal. You accept the idea, then you enjoy it, then it became part of you, and you cannot wait until a new movie come like this. You cannot be a person who really know what love is and yet you know for me actually I don't really enjoy much movies because I know what will happen next before it happened most of the time so I find them all silly and stupid uh, the ones who the, the industry who make the movies they are very like you can predict you know American movies is the same as an Indian movie the same as Middle Eastern Arab movie you know the end of the movie before the movie even started. Actually, I remember one of the amazing things about Middle Eastern movies that you hear the hit, like somebody is boxing somebody, right? Now you hit this two minutes before the hit happens. So you will not need to predict anything. You know exactly what will happen. The sound never match with the image, you know, because they are very, very good at making movies. Uh, but all of them, they are the same to the point they are boring, stupid, same repeated story. Even the actor, you find the same actor in every movie. I mean, who is the actor is going to be in the movie? And all those actors are filthy. I mean, I don't know how in the world this would work. And people, they die to take a selfie with them. You like a Korean movie? I watch, you know, like in the other day actually, I saw a Korean movie. I watched for the first 15 minutes because I like the graphic. Asian movie, they have a nice graphic. And then after 15 minutes of watching, I said to myself, What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. It was a Korean movie, but it was really out of the shelf. There's no story in the story. You need to watch Journey to the West. Okay. Well, for sure, there's some nice, good movies. And, you know, you notice that the old days, uh, the movies used to be praising somebody. He saved uh, 
the weak one he defend the weak ones like you know even the cowboy movies in the old days like there is a person who go and defend the villagers from the gang you know it was like there is violent but the violent is about there's a good guys and bad guys today the heroes are the bad guys the cops they are the ones should die <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And people enjoy them. People, they enjoy them. They enjoy watching the bad guy winning. I don't watch any movies about Jesus. I believe that uh, there's no, nobody can, should or can play in the image of Jesus. At the same time, all movies who they are made about Jesus, the you know, they, they have their own words there they are not biblical until now i did not see one biblical movie about jesus they had things is not there you know because they have to they have to fill up a space they have to make two hours uh, movie and the added stories is not there so i don't you know I, I don't really care for such a thing uh and you know, I'm not against like uh, I remember when they make a movie. It's called The Passion of Christ. People like it, love it. But for me, I could not even watch, you know, even ten minutes of it. Yeah, but it can be good for somebody who is not a believer. You know, it's like introduction. But uh, uh, the problem is if people they think that they can take Christ from a movie. Because movie is a movie, the same as History Channel. I remember once uh, I was uh, in the Philippines. Um, there was, a, you know, um, it's like a coffee shop. There was one a Christian guy, and he had his friends. I don't know, guy or girl, I forgot. Anyway, uh, so they are arguing. The person, one of them, he is, the rest are atheists. Uh, and they they were making fun of him. Uh, they said to him, "You believe in ghost? <laughs> you believe in ghost?" <laughs> and then they said to him, "Go watch, watch Discovery Channel. Watch, you know, see science. You know, it's against. You know." So I was sitting and I could not take it no more. I said, uh, "Hello, guys. Can I join you in this conversation?" They said, "Sure, sure, sure." So I sat with them. So I said, uh, "I heard you saying to him." Uh, join like watch uh, Discovery Channel, right? And History Channel, right? And you made fun of him because he believed in ghosts. I said, yeah. He said, okay. Well, don't they in this channels they have a program called the uh, Haunted Houses? He said, what? I said, don't in those channels they have a program called Haunted Houses? He said, yeah. He said, okay. I thought you believe in those channels. Do you? He said, what do you mean? He said, you are asking him to prove to him that he is wrong and the proof in those channels, right? He said, yeah. He said, okay, well, there is programs about ghosts. It's called, I think, haunted houses. He said, yeah, I saw that. I said, okay, well, this are, those are scientific channels. How come they are having such a thing if ghosts are not true don't you take your evidence from there the christian guy he was looking at me i think it was a guy he was like you know uh, here we go victory is coming finally you know like <laughs> but here you look how a human being is a stupid suddenly this a human or those a group of a human they want to take their faith from a TV station TV stations is running by people who have agenda it doesn't matter what you call it history channel discovery channel it might be scientific but always science have agenda there's no science the science will not have agenda if there's no human behind it any science have agenda Because the one who made the program, he have his agenda. And he always make his science fit with his agenda. So 
the, 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 the stations run by people who they are atheist they attack Christianity they attack etc but you will never find in history channel one program attacking Muhammad never they will not even dare and that is telling you that they have agenda you know what I mean so don't take your belief from a TV station otherwise you are a fool <clears throat> uh, you know Jack Sparrow uh, don't spoil your Juma because Juma already is spoiled and just to show you that you are an idiot Muslim they should not celebrate Juma There is one verse in the Quran speaking about Juma that Muslims they don't go to pray in the Juma. Not it's not they go to the pray. So Muhammad he was making a verse to force them. Do you know why? Because Juma was the start of Saturday. Muhammad was practicing Judaism, the coward. He was hypocrite to the Jews. Because when the Saturday come nobody pray nobody do anything from the Muslims because the Jews they close their doors they do not do business otherwise you cannot find anywhere in the Quran saying that your pray is the day of Juma ah. and don't forget to go to the Juma ah prayer so you can heat so you can hear some hate heat speech hate heat speech you go inside peacefully you come out like a cat who want to eat everybody Jihad, Allahu Akbar, may Allah curse the Chinese, may Allah curse the Israeli, may Allah curse the Jews, the Christians, the Hindus, the Buddhas. Yeah, don't, don't miss the Jummah prayer. Don't miss it. What a potato. And look, look how the, the, this guy like a bug. He come here like a bug. Every day he have to come to my channel. Get a spank and he leave. <laughs> bugs he's like bugs this guy well in uh, you see the the Juma even though it's not our topic but let us answer this you see Muslims are very funny people they do not know their religion you can find about the Juma that Muhammad supposedly the, he was looking for a day to pray. Which day is going to be our day? They told him, let us do Saturday. They said, no, Saturday is for the Jews. They said, let us do Sunday. They said, no, Sunday is for the Christian. And then he come with Friday, supposedly. But this is Hadith. If you go to the Quran, you will find the following. Which is obviously proven Muhammad to be a fraud. And that Muslims, they don't really care for Muhammad. Chapter 62, verse number 9. Oh, who you believe, when the call proclaimed in the prayer of a Friday, and here they put between two brackets the day of assembly, this is false, doesn't say in the Quran such a thing, hasten to, to pray. Okay, what happened? And look clearly what it says. And leave off the business. What they are talking about? Muhammad, he was living between the Jews practicing sabbath with the jews muslims who they are following muhammad they knew that the jews and sabbath is coming and sabbath starts for the jews by friday afternoon which means friday is sabbath for the jews sabbath start friday not sub like not like now we go by 12 24 hours no S sabbath is friday sunset that is Sabbath. And then the Sabbath will continue until Saturday sunset, which means starting of Sunday. That is Sabbath. So Muhammad here is making it clear that in the day of a Friday, where no Muslim is coming to pray because Muhammad is being a puppy for the Jews, practicing Sabbath. Everybody go home. No work. And because of that, everybody have to do his shopping, everybody have to finish his business before the Jews, they close their doors. So, because he could not find a solution to make the Muslims stop not coming in Friday, 
Nobody come in a Friday because they want to do shopping. Before the Jews, they'll go. The Jews are the one who feed them. They are the farmers. They are the businessmen. They are the smart. And they are of just buy from them. So he forced them to come in a Friday for a prayer. Otherwise, there's nowhere in the Quran. It says a Friday is your day of a prayer. <clears throat> My friend, dry. We can talk in different time, not necessarily today. Take it easy, my friend. There is always tomorrow, unless we, we will die. All right. <clears throat> so there is no base of the all the, the Muslim practice, you know. Uh, <clears throat> the funny. Uh, the Muslim, they say to you uh, that uh, Christians, they corrupted the Bible and they changed even the prior day. But in their books, their prophet, he told them that Allah, he made the Sabbath for the Jews and he made the Sunday for the, uh, for the Christians and he made the Friday for the Muslims. And this is how silly they are. They are people who they are ignorant, they do not know. Uh, uh, what they are talking about as usual I never saw a Muslim actually he knew what he what he's talking about <clears throat> anyway but you see as you see the Muslims uh, they are successful to make us change our topic right yeah Anyway, uh, actually, let me show you the hadith. So, as long as we mention it, let me get this hadith for you, so we can get the Abdul busted. When they say to you that you corrupted the Bible and you changed the day of a prayer from Sabbath, because they are the one who changed actually. Because if Muhammad saying that Allah he made the Jews pigs for breaking Sabbath, then how Allah does not make the the Muslims forcing them to practice Sabbath? If the Sabbath is so important to Allah look here it was a Friday from which Allah diverted those who were before us for the Jews that they set aside for a prayer was Sabbath and for the Christian was Sunday and Allah turned toward us and guide us to Friday look at this stupid story and as you see here in fact he Allah made a Friday and Sunday and Saturday and Sunday as day for a prayer. So those who say to you that you change the day of a prayer, shut them up and give them what is written in their book because their prophet, he have a big mouth and his tail is very long, which means it's very easy to grab him and throw him in the middle. This is the hadith for those who they like to save reference. All right. Now, yeah, the tail of Muhammad is very long. It's very easy to grab him anywhere you want. You know, you see, the problem is, is knowledge. When you have knowledge, they cannot, they cannot play with you, right? And this is the reason they don't dare to call me, because they don't know what I was saying. I mean, they can throw a question, but the question will come back to them. Their tail is very long. And it's very easy for me to grab them from it. You see, uh, there's there's some puppies, uh, like when you do a hunt, uh, you want to have a hunting uh, dog, uh, you cut his tail so he the animal will not bite him there, you know. But when your tail is so long, I mean, anywhere we can grab it. We knew everything in your books. And because we know a lot, they fear the knowledge this is why they want to, you know, Christian prince is lying. They want to expose a Christian, but they don't dare to speak to me. They are terrified, intimidated. And the intimidation have one reason, it's knowledge. <clears throat> uh, 
Always knowledge, my friend, is your best friend after God. Knowledge is very important. A human being without knowledge is like uh, like the foam of the of, of the waves. It makes too much foam, but it's empty. It's nothing. It's not even you know real. It's just a foam. Knowledge is real, and knowledge was you know uh, stay with you. Everything of us grow uh, grow old, except our knowledge our wisdom you lose your beauty you lose how handsome you are uh, you lose uh, your health but there is one thing when you grow old stay with you most likely that is your knowledge and your wisdom and to grow with you grow beautifully this is why a wise person or we say like an old man should be a wise person why because life taught him a lot but sadly, you know, most of people they grow and they became like kids. They don't they are not wise. You know, before people they used to go and sit and read. Today people they sit to watch uh, YouTube. Uh, a new phone. There's a new phone. You know, very interesting. I mean they will keep making phone for us and we will have more review of the phones for the coming million years. But the phone is a phone. I mean, what the phone would do more than what it does now. They fool us, you know, they will add a camera and this camera is fantastic and etc. It's a phone. It's just a stupid phone. How boring. You know, the phone was uh, was very interesting. Uh, the first time for me, I had a, my hand on a cell phone. I was like, wow, man. At that time, the phone was in the size of my hand, really big, huge, you know. Do you want us to leave, CP? Why I want you to leave? Or you want to leave? It's up to you. I want you to leave. You want to leave, you leave. All right? Yeah, today I'm not, you know, I'm not in the mood to uh, to take calls. And actually, I wanna, uh, I'm going to finish soon because I was standing really for long. As I told you, I was doing fishing, and uh, I had to leave the, the place where I am staying here because they were working in the roof and a lot of noise. Boom, 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 boom. I could not take it no more, and it like Allah and His version in the top of my head. So I decided to go, and I was away for many hours doing fishing. Now, I took uh, pictures for the fish, but it's not worth to post it in uh, in Patreon. They are small, you know, uh, but they are, I mean, um, they are a, a tasty kind, very nice uh, fish, but they are small. Uh, next time, bring a store. No, when I go to the, I don't really sit. I don't like to sit. I love the ocean. I love watching it. And... Um, most of the time, if I'm fishing, I don't sit. You know, actually, I don't like to sit at all. I like to either walk or you know do fishing. I uh, I love the ocean. Yeah, I, I catch, but they are small. You know, I actually I uh, I got one fish which is big compared to the rest. It's just less than a foot, and I was uh, questioning the fish, "Where's your friends?" You know, because I, like I was practicing my Middle Eastern terrorism. Uh, Hoppy. So I was trying to terrify the fish to tell me where her friend. But uh, looked like the fish, you know, sadly that she died before she can give me the answer and the location. You know. Otherwise, next time I capture a fish, I will make her say everything. Yeah, I go deep sea fishing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I am a prophet al Khadr. The fish, the whale, go in the ocean and he made a tunnel. And then I go in the tunnel and I do fishing, deep, deep sea fishing. True story. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, you know, if, uh, actually tomorrow I will, I will, I will cook those fish if I did not go because still tomorrow they have to do work. 
so tomorrow from the early morning those guys will be here doing work and boom 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 again in that you know so i have to go somewhere uh, i don't know uh, have you eaten them or you sold them why i want to sell them no i will eat them i clean them actually i clean them all they are small but they are i mean they are small not so small like uh, they're the size between one foot and the size of a pen or let, let us say a little bit longer than a pen yeah a, a pen a little bit longer than a pen so they are small but they are tasty they don't have bones and they uh, um, the cleaning is very easy actually i don't know the, those fish they were weird they have no stomach <laughs> you open them there's nothing <clears throat> Anyway, uh, are you outside USA? No, I am in the state. USA is very big, my friend. USA is a huge. And the beautiful thing about USA is not like in Canada. Canada is like when winter come, everybody have winter. So cold. USA, there is, you know, I mean, there is desert, there is snow, there is nice beaches, there is warm, like, even Caribbean islands, there is a part of USA. We are lucky in USA, actually. How about fish eggs? Well, you know, uh, each time I do fish, I, I, I took the fish up and I look underneath of her, I see no eggs. I'm not sure. <clears throat> uh... Arabian Prophet CB beating you to what? To defend the cult of Islam like rat entering a room with too many masters. Okay. <clears throat> well, my friend, you want to call me and you are desperate to call me. I mean, does it have to be today? Yeah, later. We have a we have in the weekend we allow Christians to call. You can call. You will not die. I mean, what will happen? You can give me your question in the text. I will answer you. Yeah, actually, steamed fish is very good. I steamed fish before. They are really they taste very good, and it's very there is no smell, you know, like not like frying. You know, it's oil free, and it's very healthy. I might I might steam them actually or steam some of them. Tomorrow you have work. Okay, go sleep, man. Who said that tomorrow? You know you can call. I did not say you can call me tomorrow. Go. I mean, what's wrong? <laughs> Ray, he is trying to call me as if I am like his life depend on my call. My friend, I am nobody. Why you wanna call me? Just go sleep, have fun, rest, take care. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. I'm no one. Literally, no one. All right? I am a poor guy like you, and I pray to the Lord to guide us and to make us wise. All of us, we are, you know, we do our foolishness, and we have our sin, and we need guidance. And if you think that I am better than you, you are mistaken. Uh, can you call me about fishing? No. <laughs> Can you be my Valentine? I am not for sale. You see, learn, learn not to be, not to say my, my, you know, like uh, there's only one place you can say to a person, my, like my love, which mean you got my love. Don't try to own people. The word my and the human being they don't it doesn't work so my love my god my love you call a, a person my love that's mean you don't own the person the person had your love she is your love so she got your love so try to learn a different attitude how you talk to people
always always is about my 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 all right uh can we be valentine i don't celebrate such a day anyway so keep dreaming <laughs> no i cannot be your valentine <laughs> i don't even celebrate my birthday you know i find one of the most silly things people they celebrate is birthday now i'm not saying that you are silly that this is your personal this is my personal opinion you don't don't feel insulted but for me i believe that celebrating birthday is very very silly first of all you are not celebrating your birthday because the date is not the same the date is not the same just to make it simple for you uh don't we have uh, something's called lap year so if you celebrate the day exactly you are celebrating the wrong day you are not born in this day not in this at that hour too same time the day of your birth will never come back i mean that's it it's bad it's, it's gone so i mean and uh i don't know what people celebrate about that day i'm not sure i mean i'm celebrating your birthday what does that mean uh, you know once uh once i was in a restaurant and you know they there is a there is a wedding uh, uh i don't know I, I forgot i think it was like maybe birthday something so they reserved part of the restaurant but not all of it and i was there and then the the guy who uh, do photography he came and he started giving cards in the table so he gave me a card and he said sir if you have any occasion call me etc i said like what occasion like what he said we do uh, uh, baptism uh, we do engagement we do wedding so i said to him do you do divorce he said what he said do you like do a divorce party I look at me the guy he froze <laughs> he said uh, i did not get you i said what do you do a baptism you do engagement you do wedding party what about divorce do you do divorce party he said well uh, well if there is such a thing i would do it <laughs> i mean people this they celebrate everything but nobody celebrate divorce how come you know like you will see a guy fighting for years to divorce and then he doesn't celebrate that party for divorce, you celebrate wedding. I don't know what's right. Anyway, so I find that celebration is something very personal. You do not need to spend too much money and you do not need to have a lot of people around you because most of people will attend your wedding party is going to talk about you mostly, especially if they are Middle Eastern like me. They talk about you on your back, they gossip. And even the more you spend in the wedding, they will say how cheap he is. Look what he did. Look what she did. You are trying to be happy, right? This is your happy day, supposed to you and you you invite them, you spend a lot of money, you bought them food, you bought them drink, you rent a place for them, and yet they are slaughtering you by their tongues. So why you invite those people? For me, if I have an occasion, I would invite nobody. If I ever get married, I would take her and go to the church. We marry, that's it. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's it. <laughs> maybe her maybe her mom, her dad, it's okay. You know, uh, but people, they rip you off. You spend half of your money in, in uh, on them and then they rip you off and talk about you. No, this is not only African, all the world like this, you know, people, they want to gossip, they want to talk about each other, they, they are empty. So don't waste your money. If you have something, you know, enjoy it. Like Middle Eastern people, when they get married, they spend a lot of money because they love to show off. It's a competition. How expensive my wedding is, you know? So they are not doing it because it's necessary, but because they love to show off. It's like when one of them he's seen, let us say a cousin or a friend or somebody, he spent like $200,000. Oh, I have to beat him. I have to make it 300000 they are crazy. All right, Mimi, good for you. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not, a, you know, ha happiness is good, but I'm saying if you are happy about your birth, we'll be happy every day, not uh, in a birthday and a kick. Be happy, you know, learn how to be happy. Enjoy your happiness. Enjoy your life. 
uh, it's not at the it's not in the, just an occasion it's a life you live same as if you love somebody not in the valentine day you remember that person if you love that person you will make every day a special day um, you know when somebody it's like you know i mean the world is really crazy they have a they have a lying day even lying they have a day for it so they have a mother day like why 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 the mother she is not a mother only in that day so the rest of the year she is what she is a she is a she is my cousin so a mother day a father day a husband day a valentine day a lying day uh, uh the whole point of those is just to 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 make you spend money you see the 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 commercial industry they encourage those things because it's about sucking your money because now okay tomorrow is valentine what you bought me it's a must even if you are maybe bankrupt even if you have no money but now because man it's bad i cannot go and my hands is empty i have to buy something and why you, well, you have to buy something if this woman she don't love you unless you buy her something that's mean she don't love you right if she love you only because you bought her something that means she don't love you she'll buy the she love the gift well actually if i am you i will go without a gift to see what she will do if she really love you she will not be upset from you right as long you are spending money there's no way to know if this person really he care for you or she care for you she care for your money or he care for whatever you are doing to him so uh, love have nothing to do with gifts especially those those are commercial love this is not real love it's like it's like somebody said for me a day it's called love day uh-huh so it's not even my choice it's not like me today i decide to buy a gift for you because i remember you know it's a day where you must buy and this is what make it ugly no buying something you do not show your love you are buying love you see because if you are doing that in a certain way because everybody have to do it that's mean you've been forced to do so so if you have something you want to buy you do not need to buy it this day you can buy it any day and same time you cannot show love unless you buy what does that mean this is how you show love really so since when since when love can be proven by buying something to you hmm. that's mean rich people they are they can buy all the love in the world because you can buy you if things every day all right when you are interested in gifts your, in your interest is the gift not the man or the woman not the person yeah well I for me I, I know I, I don't believe in those things I believe that if you want to give a gift for somebody it shouldn't have to be with any day uh, you can choose your own day where you feel like you want to give a gift um, I understand like if it's a birthday to be sure that you care but those things Valentine Day I mean well, this is really crazy uh, Valentine Day you're right Valentine Day and everybody is buying the same color everybody is like worms you know like worms like everybody became like a a uniform you know, everybody buying the flowers everybody buying perfume everybody buying uh, what happened what happened it's like coronavirus you can do Arab dance this is what you are worried about my friend this is your worry if I can do Arab dance no I cannot do Arab dance because uh, uh, originally I am from the moon
No, honestly, for me, this is how I see it, you know. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, everybody, for some people, they would think that this person is weird. I mean, look how he think. All right? Look how he think. I, I told you before, once my cousin, she wanted to hook me up with a girl. She asked me to come. She said, I want you urgent. Come over. She did not tell me what. I went there. I found she had a girl next to her in the table. And then she said, I have to go now. Please, can you sit with my friend? I will be back. Okay. I said, okay. So I sat next to this girl in the table. And this girl, she started asking me questions. What songs you like? Who uh, Who is your favorite actor? I don't know. I don't know any song. Honestly. What favorite actor? I said, I don't know. I don't really. And the only one I know is his name is Rambo. <laughs> anyway, after sitting with me for some time, this woman, this girl, she told my cousin later, your cousin, for sure, he don't like me. Anything I ask him, he have no answer for it. He was bored of me. She so said to her, what uh, what you ask him? She said, I ask him what's, what uh, what the uh, music, uh, uh, what uh, what actor he like, what singer name he like, you know. He don't know what movie actor, you know, he don't know. He don't answer anything. She said, well, he don't care for those things. And trust me, he do not know. He's not lying to you. You know, but she thought that this person, obviously, he don't care to talk to her because whatever she say, he say, I don't know. You know, but he, your topic is not my topic. She said to her, ask him about history, about ask him about religion, ask him about, you know, politics, maybe. Uh, ask him about singer uh, this person is the last one to ask him about this so every one of us is different you know everyone in his life is 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 set for different interest so for some people this is their life you know talking about singers actors movies um, you know this is what they would do on valentine day so if you go with me in valentine day that maybe will be your most boring day ever all right in <laughs> uh, <laughs> backstand they celebrate birth. yeah you know why not i mean it's okay a human being is a human being everybody need uh, uh, actually in pakistan they need the uh, valentine day more than any other place all right yeah You like a Christian Arab songs? You mean a Christian, like Christian praise in Arabic? Okay. Well, there's nice ones. There's good ones. Yeah. Anyway, every human being have his own interest. Um, and this is normal. You know, there's some people that you talk to them about art. That's it. This is their life. Arts. There's some people they are crazy about uh, music. So... We are different. God, he made us different. <clears throat> uh, you are afraid of being disappointed with the women, CP? You see, you will be disappointed only if you have expectation expectation is the problem and this is why people they do not know what love is if you love a person you don't have expectation the only expectation is you should have maybe if you love a person and that person he promised you that she love you too is loyalty anything else is false people they do things because they have expectation and this is why they get disappointed I never go for expectation because a human being is a human being. Today is healthy, tomorrow is sick. Right? So when you have expectation, let us say, you see this rock we, we see in the screen? If, I, if somebody uh, told you we are going to go to the ocean and then you imagine that this ocean would be so amazing, so beautiful, etc. And then you go there and you find that this ocean is dirty, there is many factor there, you get disappointed, right? Why? Because what was in your head is different from what is in reality. Most of a human being, when they have relationship, they have expectation. They don't love the reality. 
which means you don't love the woman who is the real woman. You want to be involved with her. You are in love with the fantasy in your head, an expectation. So when the expectation does not fit with the reality of that person, then you go in the mood of being disappointed and you face a divorce. Hmm? Actually, expectation is one of the reasons for a human being to be totally unhappy. The expectation. Most of people, they want something from the other person and they want that thing to happen. But that person maybe is not even thinking about what you are thinking and he don't care for it. This is why you have to be a person who love reality in that person, not a fantasy. And you know, these days it's very hard because most of men, they love women for the makeup they wear the short skirt she have but when she go and take a shower her eyelashes is off the fake uh, bra is off uh, the fake nails is coming out you know and maybe even fake teeth you never know then you get really in the wrong mood because like I did not really I did not this is not what the women this is not what I was looking for who is she I mean, who is she? She just went to the bathroom, took a shower, and look what I see. Where is the woman which I was dating yesterday? Or and I get married the day after. Right? So you get really upset because your expectation is not there. I mean, these days everything is fake. The face is fake. The lips is fake. They, 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 they take a, you know, what they call it, uh, silicone. So... Fake lips, fake nose, fake eyelashes, fake eye color, fake breast. I mean fake. And I will not be surprised if she is not even a female. You never know. Get ready for what's coming. Right? Uh, you, you, uh, you, you have relation with the fake person, you end with the fake relationship. This is why if a woman, she wants to have really a successful relationship with a man, he should know you as you are. And the same as for the man. Don't make yourself like you are the, the saint and the one who is crazy about her and, you know, like uh, all those things. And later she will find out that none of those things is true. My friend Harun, I get it, I get it. In Pakistan, they celebrate Valentine's Day. Honestly, I get you. I saw it, my friend. I feel like Mickey Mouse when he won the lotto now because of your text keep coming. One after one, the same line. Yeah, this guy, he will not stop. No, everything around us these days is fake you know women they spend half of their salary for makeup you know I just watched a video of a woman Muslim woman she's asking for help uh, it's about the war in Syria oh, you know help us nobody here to help us I mean this woman she is running for her life supposedly and the army the Syrian army is coming to invade the area they are in she have fake eyelashes half kilogram of shish kebab makeup five kilogram of tomato makeup uh here i mean she spent maybe three hours before she leave the house and this is when it is war so if this is what happened when it is war what happened when it is peace she's trying to run for her life now i was looking at this me like what is that the woman she is talking about she just ran from her house and they are shooting and etc and she have seven kilograms of makeup in her face her eyelashes is like an umbrella you know it can't touch you from behind the screen and for me 
if I see a woman like this, this is the last woman I want to be with or even associate with, to be honest, because obviously she is very fake. Right? Like, nice to meet the fake you. The fake you is embarrassing. Or the fake you is amazing. You know what I mean? My advice, actually, any man, not even to get serious with such a woman. Because obviously she is mad, spending all her money and her. I mean, okay, when you marry her, what she would do? Huh? You ask her to bring to to. Okay, let's drink some coffee together. By the time she finish her eyelashes, it's not coffee time; it is lunch time. Right? And I think even the day of delivery, if she have a child, she will be busy. She will be in the front of the mirror. They have to do delivery in the front of the mirror because she's doing makeup. The same for the men. The men they want to have uh, what, what they call them the 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 pact in their in their chest. So the man he want to go to the gym because he want to show the girls how strong he is. You know, like muscles. Yeah, he have big muscles, but he have a brain of an ant. So he spend his day going to the gym, doing his sports, so he can look so good. And supposedly that will make him a man. But the second you talk to him about serious conversation, he have a brain of a chicken. Hmm? That is reality. You think you marry a man? It turned to be you, mar you married an ant. A chicken. All what you got there, he have six packs in his, in his stomach. Okay, nice stomach. I'm so proud about your stomach. I mean, who need them? What do you need in a man of a quality more than his stomach? That's it. If you have that stomach, he got everything. So everything is upside down. You know, women, they think wrong these days. Men, they think wrong these days. You know. There is a, there is a story of... Uh, of a woman, <clears throat> she, uh, she, uh, she an, uh, Middle Eastern woman, she went in vacation to Europe. So she was walking with her daughter and her husband, and then they lost her husband. So the woman, she went to the police to make a report. She lost her husband. So the police, he asked her in, in Germany, he said, okay, describe your husband for us. She said to him, he's tall. Okay. He have a blue eyes. Okay. He have blonde hair. Uh, the girl, the daughter, she said, Mom, this is not my dad. My dad don't look like this. She said, shut up. They might replace him for us. This is exactly what people do. You know, the women, she, uh, uh, when she gets something she don't like, she try to find something better. Like, okay, shut up. Maybe they can replace him for us. Because they are looking for a look. And the man is looking for a look. So every one of them, he have a fantasy in his head. And he try to match the fantasy with the person which they want to find. And when they find someone, he is not matching with the fantasy, which is, let us say, okay, this is what we got. Like me today, I went for fishing. I wanted to get like a six foot fish. I got one foot fish. So, okay, this is my fantasy is six foot. So, I'm okay, I accept the one foot for now, but keep it dreaming about the six foot. So, if I get the one foot to be exchanged with the six foot, I will exchange it right away. This is exactly how they think about relationship. I'm not saying all like this, my friend. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying all like this. But I'm saying this is how it is today, you know. People are weird. Everybody is going to the display to pick up like a, a Barbie from the shelf. And you know, most of those people who they are looking for a Barbie, after they play with the Barbie for five minutes, they throw it in the floor. They don't appreciate it. They are spoiled kids. <clears throat> and one of the most uh, annoying things some women they do is the, is the perfume. Oh man, 
I think there's there is a misunderstanding of what perfume is about. Perfume, it's about you, you smell good. Not about you became a buffing machine. Like you buff perfume. So wherever you go, people they die from the smell. You go in the elevator, the one who have an asthma, he would die for sure. You know? So they I mean it's everything is really weird. Uh, before you go from the house, you have to spray yourself as if you are a fly. <laughs> spray the hair, spray the clothes, spray uh, I mean I'm, uh. Why are you dirty? Do you smell bad? Why you need all this perfume? <laughs> what is that? Are you in the bathroom? Like did you fart? Because the only reason for you to cover yourself with such a too much strong perfume is to cover something bad. I don't know. You do that Tamara? <laughs> Tamara, she do that. She spray herself all over. <laughs> Tamara, don't get close to me, okay? I will die. I cannot take it actually. <clears throat> That's only in the Middle East. No, there is a lot of people they do that. A lot of people. You see a person he walk by or she walk by, and the smell is staying even after they leave for like three, four minutes. We sweat. Okay, you will use sweat, but you do not need all this perfume. Okay, so what if you sweat? All of us, we are human, we sweat, so. Pigs don't sweat. You are human, you sweat. Anyway, for me, I don't really, I know, I don't, uh, if you if you appreciate the beauty of a woman, she is beautiful. Doesn't matter what she put, doesn't matter what she uh, she spent in herself, doesn't matter how much makeup she have or zero makeup. And actually, if you love a woman without makeup, you will always love the woman, wherever she do, because you know you are in love with the real person. Everything is based on fake is fake. <clears throat> and not only that, by the way, you know, makeup can can be dangerous. You have no idea what they put there in this makeup. Do you know what it's made from? They say to you, all is natural, you know, all this of this garbage. You have no idea what you are putting in your skin. So you spend too much money, you harm yourself, and you might end with cancer. You know, it's expensive, it's crazy, and most of the time the smell dies after like five minutes. So we got to make it last. Okay. I'm always in love with gentlemen only CP smart okay well if you maybe if you see me you will be disgusted <laughs> uh, you know some sometimes people they can be in love with the uh, with the person the way he think maybe uh, the voice because maybe the voice is nice maybe but then you see because you might have an expectation when you see the person you might be very disappointed So now, like if uh, if there's a lady there, she wished to meet me. Well, she wished to meet maybe my thinking, my voice. But when she see my face, she will commit suicide. She will jump from the cliff. And they will make a movie about her. And then you as a CNN will see uh, an, an American girl, she commits suicide after seeing an Arabian guy. Or an, uh, like they will make a title like an Arab terrorist in town. He killed, uh, he, he caused the death of a woman just by showing his face. 
right? <clears throat> exactly. You would not rather to see me. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just helping you for your safety. Trust me. No, honestly, I look scary. You know, like I, uh, I, I, uh, when I was in England, I go in the elevator. There's a neighbor. He go with me every morning. I say to him, "Good morning." This guy, he don't look at me. Good morning. Ah. His head is down. I said, "Good morning." And purpose, you know, I look at him. Good morning. You know, the guy is like, I mean, terrified. I have no idea what I did to him. Uh, in the Philippines, I go in the elevator. I say, "Good morning." Nobody answer. I mean, is it my fault? I ch that, that's it. <clears throat> actually, when I go fishing, I don't do fishing, actually. I just get good morning, the fish die. You know, they look at me like, ah, you know, she drowned. Because, you know, fish, they don't know how to deal with water when they see me. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> Look at the gram, what he said. ACP, many women, they love serial killers. <laughs> That's a good one. So look, whatever you try to do, you still you will find somebody going after you. Unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> oh, boy. Anyway. You know, no, it's, uh, you know, every, every, uh, every human being, you know, God, he created us. Um, and I believe that all of us, we have the beauty of God. God, he gave us his own touch, his signature. But I believe the most important beauty a human being he can have is a stability, intelligence, and wise, a wisdom. And all of this can be, uh, let us say, uh, fueled with knowledge. You know, educating yourself. Knowledge is the fuel of all those things which God He gave you. So it can be powerful, can be useful, can be reused, you know, for generations to come. All right? But because usually people they think only about uh, appearance. So they end with the appearance. This you know, this is what you want, this is what you get. You are looking for appearance, you get appearance, you get appearance. The second you open the box, you will find that there's a food inside. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, <clears throat> so I think we have enough for today, don't, not, don't we? Uh, Christian Prince, addict Catholic, what does that mean? What addict Catholic mean? I don't understand this English. You are also beautiful by God. Give thank you very much, Benny. I recently dreamed I was in a taxi when the taxi driver spoke. He had your voice, and I was like, CP, is that you? He was like, yes, it is. So uh, this is because that's a, that's a movie that's not a dream okay i listened to you before sleeping all right yeah maybe <clears throat> but you know it's happened to me that many people they recognize me from my voice uh i, I you know um, it happened more than once uh, you know once i was in the airport there was two guys watching my videos and laughing so I did not even talk to them because if I talk right away, they will know it's me, you know, so I avoid talking. Uh, but once I was in the Philippines and uh, there was a guy, he had a Bible in his uh, in the table with him. I said, you know, let me discuss with the brother, you know. So I said, hi, how are you? You know, what, what are you studying in the Bible? So, And then he said to me, you know, your voice is really familiar for me. I think I know you. I said, no, I don't think so. He said, no, I know you. And then he said to me, hold on, are you Christian Prince? I said, what? He said, are you Christian Prince? 
I said yes. The second he is, I said yes, he jumped. He, he literally jumped, you know. And then he texts his wife and he called her. Do you know who is with me now? You will not believe it. And he put her, put her in the speaker. And guess what his wife, she said, it was amazing. She said to him, I know, I know. And the guy, you listen to him always, a Christian prince. But she was joking. She don't. She's not serious, you know. Because she he listened to me every day. So he said, I'm serious. He is here with me. She said, are you okay? You're losing your mind. Okay, come back home. He said, no, he is here. I swear he is here. Honest to God, he is here. Can you can you talk? Can you talk, please? You know? <laughs> so I took the phone and I said, hello. She said, what is this? Uh, who, who, who's talking? I said, um, uh, it's me, Christian Prince. She did not talk, sure. Like, she was quiet. She said, say, say more, talk more. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, it was a funny story. <clears throat> yeah, people do not know, uh, do not know you by face, but if you have a voice which is not hard really to recognize. Yeah. No, this is a true story, not a hate story. Yeah. Actually, the first time I met a group in the Philippines, even though they are the one who invited me, they invited me to a seminar, you know, there were a bunch of, uh, you know, gentlemen waiting, and actually there's ladies with them too, their wives. And when I sat with them, still they were not sure. So the other guy, he asked the other guy to take him, to talk to him in a side. So he, they went out and he asked him, later they told me, do you think this is the voice of Christian Press? He said to him, yes, I'm really sure. I said, how do you know? He said, this is his voice. I mean, this is his voice, you know. Yeah. So uh, this is how they can recognize you. And I think I have a, I have an easy uh, voice to recognize. <clears throat> anyway. Even, even in the, like once I have a seminar, there was two girls after I finished the seminar people they come and shake hands with you but at that seminar they did not say they did not use the word Christian Prince they they use like a a, a Christian brother a seminar about Islam etc like you know without mentioning a nickname or anything so after I finished the seminar there's two girls they came and I was shaking hands and those two girls are waiting talking to each other so I said yes I can help you so one of them she said I have a question but I'm not uh, please, if I can ask you, I said sure. She said, "Are you Christian Prince?" I said, "Yes." The other girl, she said, "See, I told you this is him." <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> said, we listen to your videos, etc. You know, but even though they are listening to me for two hours, still they were not sure that this is me. Which weird, but, you know? Maybe because you changed the microphone or etc. In person, is a little bit different. <clears throat> I use voice changer, yeah. No, I will, I will speak from my underarm. There's no need. It's very easy. Or I will speak from my stomach. Or I will speak like Zach and I. A brother at the time. And this is the way nobody will recognize me. I go in the airport, they ask me, are you coming? What is the, what is the purpose of your visit? The customs asking or the police. I'm coming to Indonesia to explain to you the boy books of the other day. I'll explain to you the boy Okay. We'll take him to jail. This is Zachar Naik. Yeah. Actually, I made Zachar Naik in the stage. People did die laughing. <laughs> they said, we can't believe it. It sounds like him. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> oh you're calling your voice no matter what. <coughs> yeah, but I think the voice it is a little bit different in person. Um, I think the mic dis the, the, the distort the voice a little bit, make it less uh, less good.
So any other question? No, sometimes I make Zach and Nike really as if it is for real. Sometimes I don't. It depends in the mood. Uh, but uh, Zach and Nike is a very funny character. And the funny, the most time they make fun of my English. But yet they understand Zach and Nike. Come to NZ with what NZ New Zealand, you mean? Well, I do not need to go anywhere, my friend. I can do it in from here, YouTube. You can organize seminar in your church. We can do it over YouTube. That saves me from flying, paying money, spending a lot of time just to do seminar for a few hundred people. You can organize anytime, and be, I'll be happy to do it. If you want to do even a private seminar to your church, I can do it privately, like we can go in YouTube, but private to the church there. And they can ask their question and we don't post it online. You know? <clears throat> All right. Mm. Trying to read the comments. You're trying to make me a dinner, uh, Malika? Well, I have a bad news for you, sister. I don't eat dinner. I eat only once a day. I eat once every 24 hours. Sometimes once every 30 hours, 36 hours. I don't take breakfast. I don't take dinner. And even my lunch a little bit late. <clears throat> How many of you can stay without food for 24 hours? Anyone? No, I don't do diet. I, I eat really good. I eat really good. But I mean, big meal. But I eat once, uh, once a day. If I eat more than once, I don't, I don't sleep. Because I have to burn the food. You know, I, uh, um, you know, I became very active. I'm, I'm very, I, I don't sleep easy. I have to burn my energy. Otherwise, I will not be able to sleep. So I eat once a day. And I don't feel tired. I don't feel, some people, they get dizzy. Some people, they have headaches. So, you know, for me, it's not. Your father is 80 years old, 88 years old. He's my fan. My friend, I am his fan. Please pay my respect to your, uh, your father. I love old people. I really love them. I love to talk to them. I love to sit with them. I love to enjoy their conversation because they are a blessing for us. This is something really I love. When I see old people, I love to sit and talk to them. <clears throat> so don't forget please to pay my respect to your father thank you Monica but not with, when we have a, a coronavirus just wait until the virus is gone it's not about knowledge you know for me I really appreciate all people because you see uh, uh, the uh, old people they uh, present for us us you know we are exist because of them and they sacrifice a lot for their children to be there so if you don't respect those who they brought you to life those who sacrifice from their life to make you a man or a lady uh, send you to school take care of you until you became an adult mature if you don't respect those people you don't deserve to be respected later right <clears throat> a person who don't respect all people he have no life he's not even a man he's not mature I 
I have, uh, I will never kiss a hand of a man or a woman, but I will be happy to kiss the hand of my mother and my father. Willingly, with happiness. <clears throat> sing for you <laughs> that's funny I do fasting almost every day okay There's no need to pause the same text twice, please. Uh, somebody saying here something. All my friends, I have good news. My mother left Islam last night after my mother saw Christian Prince video about Muhammad. Okay. Adult breastfeeding. All right. That's wonderful, my sister. I hope, I pray to your mother that she will have a good journey with, with the Messiah. I hope she will accept the Messiah soon. Tell a joke. Well, that's a good thing. You see, the, 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 the best jokes is to look at our life. You know, our life is a, is a chain of jokes. A uh, human being, how he tried to make himself happy. It's a joke. How he tried to make himself uh, uh, rich, um, uh, attractive. <laughs> it's a joke. I mean, think about it. You know, uh, a, a man he go to the store, and then he want to buy clothing, and the clothing like is a sweet and a tie and nice shoes and all of this because he want to look good. That means you are a joke without them. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because when you are too much interested in a closing, thinking that those will make you look good, that's meaning without them you are a joke. Same for the women. She's sit in the front of the mirror for two hours, three hours, makeup, eyelashes. What a joke. That's meaning you think you are a joke without them. In fact, when you do those things, you became a joker, not if you don't do it. This is the horrible joke we do every day in our life and we think we are smart. You dress because people want you to dress. You know, I, I don't I don't have, I don't wear, and I will never do, wear a suit with a tie. I hate it. I mean, why in the world I want to wear something I don't like just because people think that this is the good way to dress? Do you remember the in the in the movies like when in France and England, uh, like uh, noble men they put a wig in their head? Do you remember those movies? I mean, how silly! And not only that, they put makeup in their face. I mean, how disgusting! So, in a certain time, those people they wear their culture is that a man he should put makeup in his face and put a wig in his head at that time. This is exactly what happened to you after 600 years from now. When you wear the suit and you wear the tie, people will be laughing at you. <laughs> it's just a matter of time, and then people will discover how silly those clothes are. Not even if I get married? Not even if I get married. Do you want to marry a guy with a tie? Find someone else. I'm not a dog to have a leech in my neck. I'm a free man. What's wrong? No, for me, it's wrong. For you, it's not. I mean, for me, it's funny. For me, it's very funny. I mean, it's not comfortable. Why somebody want to wear something not comfortable? Suit is not comfortable. Tie is not comfortable. Closing the, the, the shirt in your neck. Actually, when I close the T-shirt on my neck, my voice is totally different. How are you doing? <laughs> it's a part of job description I will not get that job I will work anything not for me
I don't, you know, I understand what you are saying. In a job, in the job you do, they force you to wear it. But for me, I will not even do that job if this is a requirement. I will find a different job. <clears throat> You know, after I finished my law degree, uh, once my mom, she was coming home and she found me sitting in the side of the road. Uh, you know, I have some like friends in my age. We are just, I mean, I just finished school. I mean, just finished uh, college. Uh, wearing my short and she said, mom, come here. I said, what? I said, you cannot sit like this. And why are you wearing your short? I said, what's wrong? I said, you are a lawyer now. You cannot do that. <laughs> you are a lawyer. <laughs> So look at the society, how it is. If you are a lawyer, you cannot wear a short no more. You have to wear a suit and you have to hold a Samsonite. So people will give you a job. Because how you can be a smart lawyer if you don't have, if you are wearing a short, you know? <laughs> but what does this have to do with intelligence? I mean, this is how a human being is. So, and I understand her, you know, she's right. She's she's being wise. She's advising me because this is how the society is. You are born in the Middle East. This is how they think about you. So if somebody want to give you a case, you became a lawyer. So now you are as a lawyer and they will give you a case and you are wearing a short, sitting in the side of the road, right? But for me, I don't care. You know, I do what I, 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 as I wish. I dress as I like. I do as I like. And I don't care what people think, right? <clears throat> you like my voice but you don't like my love oh, okay well you can take one and leave the one in the, in the shelf somebody else will take it come to Australia you can wear short and tie no I am an American my friend don't worry in America you wear anything even if you don't wear no problem actually no you, if you don't wear a problem you see actually one of the funny things about America if a woman she walk and her jeans is coming down and her panty showing the police will not arrest you but if a guy do that they will arrest him immediately i mean what is that how come if a woman she show her panty the police will not arrest her i mean panty is a panty if a guy he show it the police suddenly he's a hero like he stop he come here uh, you you know uh, you put your jeans up okay you know, supposedly so, so Suddenly, there's a law. The women, especially if she is look, she she look good, the police will drive his car slowly next to the lady. Like yeah, perfect. Uh huh. <laughs> the law only practice on men. Women showing their panties is okay. It's halal, Islamic. Uh, you know. Oh boy. Which country in America? Yeah. You go in Walmart, you will find the women. Her, her panty is coming almost in her, in her, in her, uh, touching her ears. You know, the police don't see it. But if you do that, you will be arrested in two seconds. <clears throat> All right. I saw a video actually of a guy who was arrested in San Francisco for eating a sandwich in the platform. A sandwich. I mean, can you believe it? Eating a sandwich in the platform. Yet in California, they allow you to take drugs in the street now. Prostitution is halal. <laughs> uh, you will still love me without a suit? Uh, this is what I fear actually. I better get a suit then. Uh, how come that people are in Islam for their whole life? <clears throat> how come people believe Islam after two hours? You mean talking to me? No, I don't think this has happened that as you think. I think people, the uh, you know, like in the Middle East, we have we have a, a say where it says the hare who broke the camel back. So the camel can carry really a lot of weight. But then there's a little hair, you put it in the top of the camel, that will break his back, which means it's time for the bag to be broken. It can't take it no more. So most of people who leave Islam, 
they uh, uh, they go through stages and they have a doubt inside their heart and then when they talk to me you know like i oh, what, what what talking to me do is uh, um, getting all those things together suddenly in one time and make them work together to make a perfect uh, 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 let us say uh, wave tsunami inside them to come with decision to leave Islam otherwise people they don't just leave Islam like this All right you have first you have to be a person uh, you know your topic secondly you know how to present it number three and it's very important that your logic match with the logic of the person you speak to which means your logic is flexible in, in how, let me explain to you you see there is some people they have one approach to all kind of people like this kind of doctors you go to him he have one bills for all illness if you do that you are not a good teacher that is a failure so when you speak to a person, every person is different. Every human being is different. First, you listen to him carefully. You try to understand how he think. Try to understand his pain and his joy and his happiness and his anger. And then after you understand the person, you give the medicine, not before. Which means I don't have one medicine for all Muslims. Every individual is different. You have to analyze, uh, listen carefully, and try to figure out where he's coming from and how you come to him too. You know, human being is like a, you have a door and the door have a lock. And if you think one key will work with everybody, that's false. So let us say you are going to try many keys before the door open. Uh, so if you have, a, let us say, uh, uh, some kind of gift where you can find out how you can open the safe by making your own keys to go through. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I think we have enough for today. Uh, is a tourist part of Islam or Islam is tourist? Well, uh, Islam is based on ter terrorism. Islam is based on terrorism, which means Muhammad is the first terrorist. So what do you expect? He established his regime in terrorism, which means Islam without terrorism does not exist. I answered you already. What was before Judaism? Before Judaism, there was Abraham, and before Abraham was Adam, which means Judaism is not, you know, like if you are looking for religion, there's, we don't believe in religion. Judaism is the Jews, is the people of Israel. They are ethnic, not only a belief. So your question is a, is a mistake, not a correct question. Christianity is those who follow Christ after Christ. It's not a religion. It is a belief. It's a faith. Before Christ come to this earth, there was Abraham. And Abraham was following Christ because Christ, he came to Abraham. And that's why Christ, he said, before Abraham, I am. And Abraham, he saw my day. So you are looking for a name of religion. We don't believe in such a name. All those from the time of Adam until now, they believe in one God. And that is our Lord, Yahweh Elohim, not a religion. And this is how people are limited. They think, who, who, what was before Judaism? Judaism is not a religion. Judaism is people who live in a certain time, following certain prophets, and they are ethnic, and a language, and a belief. All those three, they make Judaism, they make them Jews. <clears throat> try to think carefully before you let us say before you make the question 
because sometimes the question is not really too much smart. Do you think America will be a socialist country? Uh, America is already a socialist country. You see, the second a government will be involved in everything, they start making health insurance for you, uh, uh, forcing you what to say, what not to say. That is socialism. Socialism started in America a long time ago. They think they don't have it yet. No, they have it. No. The, the government is involved in what you say about gender, what you say about other people, what you say. They force you to say, not to say, this is socialism and communism. It's a different name of communist. Dictatorship, you know, you go to jail if you say certain words, if you say certain things. That is dictatorship. But they are not there in full, but they are going there. Right now they are busy about the bathroom for which gender. Russia is a very successful country. You see, the problem is, in America we don't have leaders, we have potatoes, we have uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, jokers. Like even Trump, who is supposedly is the best between them, this guy is a joker compared to real leadership. In Russia, they have a guy, his name is Putin. You know, if I'm a Russian, I will make a statue for this guy. He changed Russia, he saved Russia. Russian women, they were sold in the, in the, in the internet for pennies. And today, Russian, they are living different life. Russia is a very strong, powerful country right now. Russia is a scary. Russia is respected. Russia is making a lot of uh, uh, progress. So, Russians are lucky to have Putin. We don't have Putin. We have a bunch of jokers. Look at, look at the debate between the Democrat. Look at the senators of the Republican. I mean, all of them, they are a joke. From every ton of them, every ten of them, maybe there's half or one is a smart. The rest is potatoes doing politics. Do you think the name of Isa is coming from Jesus and Greece? I think no. I think mostly, I'm, this is my own uh, uh, theory, that when Muhammad, he said that Isa is, uh, Mary is the sister of Aaron. Aaron have a sister, her name is Maryam. And that is in the Old Testament. This is true. So Muhammad, the stupid, he took from the Old Testament what the Jews told him that Maryam is the sister of Aaron, thinking that this is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. So what I think, that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, which means the sister of Moses, she have a son, his name is Isa. And this is where the name is coming from. Do you mean Democrats? All of them. There's nothing that's called Democrat and Republican. All of them, they are Democrat. Republican are the same garbage. I mean, it's the same. You see, when, when I vote, for me, I vote Republican because they are not the worst, not because they are the best. Otherwise, both are infected with coronavirus. Liars and hypocrisies and garbage. Trump, I vote for him because if I don't vote for him, we will get a bunch of idiots in the, in, from the Democrat. So he's an idiot, but he is, like let us say, to make it simple for you, we don't vote between uh, horses and donkeys. They bring us a bunch of donkeys and they say to us, this guy, he want to hit you in your nuts. This guy want to hit you in your eye. This guy want to hit you in your ear. Which one you want? So you choose the one who will hit you less. Otherwise, all of them, they are the same. All of them, they are loser, losers and they are seeking position, not seeking serving. All of them, they have big titles, but they are fraud. All of them, they want to give you health insurance, but until now, I don't have one. Speech after speech after speech. Health insurance for every citizen. Free insurance. They go, they come, they go to come, and this naive American, you know, the money of the American go to, to help uh, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Egypt, Israel, and American themselves, they don't have health insurance. Crazy. Welcome to America, my friend.
Welcome to America. Anyway, guys, um, how many languages you speak? All the languages you do not know. Uh, CP, can you tell us about the stories? Bonus fairy tales, exactly, false prophet of Islam. Yeah, but this is a long, long topic uh, uh, about the uh, legions Muhammad is told. We will spend two days to, to mention them. All right? I mean, you know, countries in the Middle East, and they are nothing like America, they have a free health insurance for citizens. In America, they don't have. What a shame. Right? If I leave, I, you will miss me. Well, I'm not leaving then. But you can leave, Malika. Uh, kindly watch the Trump prophecy from Kim Kelman. There's too many prophets these days, my friend. If a Trump deserve a prophecy, I mean, who is left? Even Trump, he, he have a prophecy about him in the Bible. I mean, do you think really he's so important character? This guy is an idiot. A lot of people are really crazy. Trump, prophecy about Trump in the Bible. Why? Who is he? What the Bible says, he was a tweeting? Like what? It says like there's a guy will come and he, he tweet. And he says stupid things. The only thing I like about Trump that he says stupid things, to be honest with you, which means he is real. He is more honest than the rest of them. He say what he want without thinking. The rest, they are fabricating everything. They are fake. This guy, he, he you know, he feel he want to dump, he dump it, that's it. He take his pen, boom. As simple as that. The smell is there, the etc. Trump is the Antichrist. Here we go. They found a new Antichrist now. Trump Antichrist. Monica Lewinsky Antichrist. Michael Jackson Antichrist. I mean, people are bankers. I don't know. Anything they see in the way. Do you see this island there? It's Antichrist. Do you know the guy he sells shawarma? He's an antichrist. Do you know Rush Lumbo? He's an antichrist. Do you know Saddam Hussein? He's an antichrist. I mean, anyone we don't like, we make him antichrist. That's it. As simple as that. We have to find the reasoning our own way. I crack you up. I know. Thank God, I'm not. I'm not having uh, like a, a, a radio show where millions of people are listening. Otherwise, a revolution will happen. You know, people will die laughing, and people will have accident when they are uh, driving. Yeah, but I mean, if you see the comment of people, it's uh, kind of uh, weird. What do you think about Rush? I think he's a you know he's a good person. You know, I mean, uh, he, you know he have his own way to express things, but at least he's real. You know, he say things as it is. I respect I respect people who they don't play hypocrisy in their belief. Firm, they say it as it is. As simple as that. Please shut up, don't talk about Trump. My friend, he wa team e u o a a. I have an advice for you. I can shut up very easy by closing your YouTube. What about you close from your side? This is my channel, my friend. Here we go. We have Fifi. Get out, Fifi. Don't come here without your dad. Yeah, you know, uh, I respect in a man to be a man, not to be a potato coward so if you believe in something say it most of what we see around us are a bunch of hypocrites they are fighting about how we can lie like this guy Bernie Sander oh boy I prefer to have a rabbit not to have this guy as a president 
or what the other one she claimed to be Indian oh my and what about that I mean it's it's a disaster man I wish they can they, they can provide us a president uh, through Amazon we can buy one from there because what we have is really horrible at least in Amazon you can see a good review right All right, I think we have enough for today. Uh, I don't know how many of you really uh, uh, is is uh, upset from me, uh, but upset is an English word mean up and set. It was practiced by the cowboy. They used to sit in the top of the horse and then the horse go up and the set go down, the cowboy. So upset is a good sign. That's mean you are a wild horse and in your way to be a useful one. In the beginning, it's not easy. Take it easy. It's just a matter of time. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you really for being here. Uh, but remember again let us remind you about what we said about the valentine valentine is not about the day uh, where you go sleep around it's not a day where you go and buy a panty for a woman that is a shameful behavior it's an insult to women uh, it's not a day where people practice their lost uh, valentine is a day where a man he sacrifice his life to defend the marriage right not sleeping around right that is not what Valentine is. So, uh, tomorrow is a day. Make it a good day for you. Don't be a fool. Don't be a loser. And don't be just another rabbit. You know rabbits? They don't care who is in front of them. Rabbits. Don't be a rabbit. All women for them is carrot. Rabbits. Don't be a rabbit, okay? Be smart, be, be human, and don't make the commerce, commercial world make you a, a toy just to spend your money and buy things in the wrong place. So enjoy your day with your family. And love is not about buying flowers. Love is about loving the one you love. And how you can love that person, how you can prove it, do, be good to them. Flowers, they will die after a few hours. There's many things you can do who can live for years to remember. Always good memory live. Nice words live. Nice act live. Flowers are just flowers. They are meaningless. They can be forgotten after five minutes if you are a rude person. If you make them upset secondly. So love have different level, have different understanding. As the Bible says, love is patient. Love is patient. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things sadly most of us we are still children's in the uniform of a mature adult we are tall as adult we are adult by age but we are children's by behavior and tomorrow valentine will prove if you are an adult or just a kid who think love is about going around sleeping around fooling around promising women false promises just to take them to bed and then you dump them in the street as if they are shoes. That is not right. Same for women. Don't use, don't abuse, don't fool men, don't promise them. Don't lie to them so they will buy you gifts thinking that you can make them do things for you. Use them and abuse them and then throw them away. Don't break a heart of a man because somebody one day will break your heart too. Heavily, badly, as you deserve. What do you do to others will come back to you. Be beautiful. Be faithful. 
be loving, be, be giving, be wise. God is good, and good ones will come to the true God. Flies go to the garbage, bees they go to the flower, and tomorrow you will find out if you are a fly or you are a bee. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord, and see you soon again.